Hey all, it's Steve from Guitar Niche here. Wanted to share with you a little tip on uh, how to measure your scale length. And I've gone through this pain before where, you know, I've, <coughs> I've had some instruments come in where yeah, it's custom jobs or modifications or whatnot, and I got to reposition the bridge or something like that. And I'm going, well, how am I going to measure that? Where am I going to put that? You know, how do I make sure that it's going to be exactly where it needs to be? And, well, the simple fact is, well, you got to know the scale length to begin with. So you can try to measure from here to, uh, I don't know, I think it's got to be one of these saddles has got to be in the right spot, right? You know, I, I don't know. Bullshit. Okay. You want to know how to measure scale length? <laughs> Sorry for the language. Go from the edge of the nut. By the way, we have this lovely Yamaha SBG3000 from the early 80s <clears throat> that we're using as our test subject here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure to the 12th fret because that is the mid span of the string. Okay, and that measures 12 inches and three-eighths. So if we multiply that by two, we have 24 inches and three quarters. So that gives us our total scale length. Okay. So now just out of curiosity, which one of these saddles, mind you, I haven't intonated this yet, but it was, it, it should be close. In fact, let me do this. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's just your most basic method method of uh, measuring um, intonation. So the G string, out of you know my experience, the G string tends to be somewhat in the ballpark. If you split the G and the D, you're kind of in the right place. Let's get that just on the money. Yeah, the D is right on 24 and 3 quarters. So this is right here. <clears throat> Let me use uh, another tool here as an example. Nah, not that one. Uh, not that one. <laughs> we'll go for, not that one. We'll go for this one. Okay, as a median, okay, uh, Using this ruler as a straight edge, we can see that, for one, the low E is behind. The high E is above. Now, this, is, this has everything to do with intonation, the, the properties of the intonation. And that's a, that's a subject for another time, which is fascinating, absolutely fascinating. I'm totally enthralled with the process of intonation and the physics behind it. But anyway, I digress. So we know that our scale length is 24 and 3 quarters. And if I had to find a median line here, I would say, well, 24 and 3 quarters is it. So uh, let's say in the case of a Nashville ABR Gibson style tunematic bridge, my posts should be laterally at 24 using this as an example 24 and three quarters slightly canted so that my median line splits the difference that way i have maximum travel between all things all saddles combined okay i have to tell you before i quit this i gotta tell you i've had instruments come in where they're just they're custom made, they're factory made, and they are off tolerance. It's simple physics, but sometimes the engineers and the production floor or the math on the paper and the builder, they don't quite see eye to eye and we have imperfect results. Anyway, this is your primer for scale length. Simple process to summarize. From the edge, the leading edge of the nut, to the 12th fret, directly splitting the 12th fret, that is halfway of your
total scale length, double that, and you have your scale length. From there, it's a simple matter of averaging out what your, what your uh, intonation is going to look like at the other end. Anyway, I, I hope you get something out of that. It's my pleasure to, to explain some of that in some, some uh, uh, brutal phonetics. And uh, like and subscribe. Have a great day. Uh, remember to look at the, uh, go through the description. There's some great free resources there. Uh, there's some, I mean, some killer free stuff there. And I and, uh, hope you, you can take advantage of it. Play loud and have fun and have a great day.